John chapter 12, verse 24 says this. Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat, and that's a seed, right? Unless a grain of wheat is buried in the ground, it cannot reproduce. But if it dies, it will produce much fruit. About a year ago, I whole, uh, bought a whole bunch of seeds. I bought a whole bunch of tomato seeds, and they never sprouted. And I was like, what is going on? I hate Home Depot. This is obviously not my fault. Okay, I bought a whole bunch of tomato seeds. I was like, is it the soil? Is it me? What do I need to do? I was looking on the internet, and then finally the internet told me what I did wrong. You know what I did, what, what I did wrong? I never planted them. <laughs> they were still in the bag. Right? Seeds don't do anything until you plant them, right? What if, you go, what if you're a farmer, you see a farmer going to the store, he's like, I want as many seeds as possible. I want a whole sack of seeds. Farmer goes home, stores them in his barn because he's like, this. I hope some of those seeds don't die. That would be the silliest, that would be the stupidest thing in the entire world. Do you know why? Because seeds are meant to be planted right? You are meant to do something with seeds. In fact, what we find is that Jesus tells a parable about this. There's this guy who has this huge harvest that comes in. It's called the parable of the bigger barns. Jesus has this huge harvest come in. And this guy's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all of these seeds? He goes, I know what I'll do. I'll build build bigger barns. You know, and here's what I'm going to do with my bigger barns. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat, I'm going to drink, and I'm going to store all of this for myself. Jesus comes back, and you know what God says? You fool. You fool. How could you be so foolish as to keep all of those seeds for yourself? Let me, because let me tell you this. What happens when you plant, plant watermelon seeds? Anybody? You get watermelon. What happens when you plant pumpkin seeds? This is not a trick question, everybody. What happens when you plant pumpkin seeds? You get pumpkins. This is a trick question. What happens when you plant nothing? You get weeds. You don't get nothing. You get weeds. Some of us right now are in a season where we have weeds in our life. And could it be that part of the reason why you have weeds in your life is because a generation ago, 10 years ago, because it takes time for that harvest to come in. It takes time for that super bloom to come in. Could it be that just a few years ago, the problem might have been that you never planted those seeds to begin with? 